Hey Royal Family, welcome to the front row with myself, Rowena Mudley. Today we're doing a olive green and gold combination. I'm so excited to try this look and I want to just do a cut crease on my eye, a half cut crease on my eye and I just want a clean face, I want a bold lip. I'm probably going to do a winged eye eyeliner, so let's get started. <laughs> just get a little bit closer no. maybe I should just do my eyes first before we do anything else to be safe that nothing drops this is the pro concealer high definition for by LA girl and I'll use the, the color creamy beige the first thing I want to do is I just want to put the concealer on my eyelids because it acts as a base and it gives my eye okay screw this I'm just gonna use my my finger because my finger will warm it up so nicely then to set it I'm not going to use a, a clear Powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with the green that I want to use. It's sort of a very similar olive green to my Punjabi. So it's I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Shadow Palette, and I'm using this beautiful olive color here. I'm going to take a color eyeshadow brush and simply put it all over my eyelid now it looks a bit crazy I know but I will sort it out in a bit now the thing about using affordable makeup is sometimes the color is not exactly what you think it's going to be and Then you put it on your face and it looks black. But we are dealing. <laughs> we are dealing. We are dealing. I don't even think I'm using this brush correctly. But anyway. Do you boo? Do you. So I'm going to take some of that concealer again. And I'm just going to put it on my hand. Just a tad so I can work with it a bit easier. And I watch Smitha and she says, she's just hit a 1 million subscribers. So she's one of those people in the big leagues of YouTube. So I follow her because I really love her work and she's so precise. So what she says is she puts a dot and opens her eye. And that is where... She uses that as the guide. As you can see, my eyes are super hooded. So we're going to have to create some fake lids here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Perfect Filter also by NYX because their eyeshadow is amazing. So it's so affordable and their eyeshadows are just so damn pigmented. So now you may be thinking my eye looks crazy and harsh at the top. I am going to blend it out in a bit. So this color is looking really good. I really like this goldy color. 
I'm gonna go in with that green again. My blending brush and just soften the lines at the top. You always wanna have a wet wipe by your side because if you're like me, then life can be a little bit challenging for you on the eye makeup department. So I just take a baby wipe, a wet wipe, and I clean up the under. Yeah. So I'm gonna take that gold again and I'm going to join the bottom for of my eye for like a goldy corner. Now I'm gonna take that green and try and meet these guys here. And join them here. So they have a relationship. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a liquid liner and I'm gonna add the liquid ink eyeliner. It's a waterproof eyeliner, which I love, so it doesn't smudge. And this is the one by one of my most favorite is Essence because it is affordable and it is lasting. So I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Longwear Illuminating Foundation in the color Soft Honey and it is one of my favorite foundations because it gives me such good coverage. It also, this is just with one pump, uh, I might have to put two but let's see how it goes. Um, but it gives me good coverage and I feel like it it really makes my skin look more illuminated and it's so affordable i think it's like 175 rand or i stand to be corrected maybe it's 180 rand or something like that but it's quite affordable and you can really get a good glam look um, with this foundation Blending is so hard to do, like I feel like I gain more muscles <laughs> blending because it takes so much out of my hand to just make sure that everything looks good. <sighs> I think that's okay. Hmm? Yes, looking around, eh? Okay, so let's put some concealer in. I'm going to use the beige color um, only because this is quite a heavy look. Um, with Eastern wear it I tend to just go a little bit more heavier Because you want it to last long you also want to You just kind of look a little bit different, you know for a wedding and things. So I let it dry a little bit because I don't like it to I don't like to blend it while it's wet because I feel like it doesn't sit very nicely So while I let that blend then I do a little bit of a contour So I'm going to use again the LA girl Pro Conceal Contour. This color is the chocolate brown, I think. What is it? Beautiful, huh? Beautiful bronze, but this doesn't seem bronze, but oh well. Okay, so we want to chisel that I have a two head, so I don't really need to contour my head or my forehead <laughs> I don't pay too much attention to that. I want a bit of a smaller nose for this look. Um, so I want to do like a bit of a narrower 
contour. You can contour your nose however you like. That's the beauty of contouring. And then I like to contour around my lip to give the illusion that my lips are a little bit bigger than they actually are. Just for certain looks. I mean, why not? I, I learned this trick at um, in India when we were doing a dance recital of the Mahabharata and the Ramayan. And when they get us ready for dance sing, it's usually men that do your makeup. They do your lip like that so it looks full. And it's such a nice technique because on stage it looks like you have Angelina Jolie lips which is amazing Ooh, look at that nose <laughs> yes now we are going to literally set this baby what I like to do is use my ultimate Johnson baby powder to set the bottom of my eyes I've tried this before there is nothing better than knowing that you can use the stuff in your house so the mirror I'm using is the NYX compact stay matte but not flat foundation powder this is in the color cocoa and I use this as a bronzer, I use it to set my contour, I use it basically to live. As you know, I don't really wear that much makeup when I'm in Western wear. So this has become like a staple in my life because I literally use this on my eyes, on the sides of my face and I'm done and I'm rocking life and going to work. It is such an affordable piece of makeup. I don't know the prices, guys. I mean, I would help you with it if I knew it. But yes, we are winning. Now, with the nose, I generally just squeeze the brush, put a little bit, tap it out, and then just kind of line it first to where I put the cream contour. And then I use my fingers because sometimes when I blend it with the brush, it's like it doesn't it doesn't do the job the way I want it to. Like sometimes it bronzes the whole note, which is like not what we want. So my finger fingers work wonders. Wonders. Look at this nose game looking a little bit smaller and we are loving it oh gosh we need to do eyebrows and lips so let's do eyebrows next actually I'm gonna do my my eyebrows off camera to make life easier so eyebrows are done I did it a little bit thicker because I love thick eyebrows on an Indian look it just makes the face look fuller and it just frames the face so well for lips i'm going to go with a bright red which is, i thought it would be so nice with this look i'm gonna line the lip with this is a lip chubby stick that i got from woolies and it is in the color do they even have a color here they don't have a color but it's like a ready color and then I'm going to mix that with this Revlon lip tint, which I absolutely, absolutely love because what's nice about this lip tint is that when your lip 
like when you've eaten something and stuff it still leaves a stain so you still look like you have something and you don't look naked on the lips like I do now Because this lip is such a red, beautiful color, I don't want to do too much. I've already got like my bronzer, so I wanna just accentuate that a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with my Sweet Cheeks um, by NYX and I'm gonna just put a little bit of that color in to, to give it a little bit color and then some highlight. For highlight, I'm going to use Love, so Love You So Macho by NYX Cosmetics and I'm going to use the golden color just at the tops of my cheeks. Well, this is the look. Thank you so much for joining me on the front row with myself, Rowanna Mudley. And if you liked this video and if you want to see more videos like this, please be sure to click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Also, comment below and let me know what other looks you'd like to see. I post videos every Monday and Thursday, so I'll see you on the next video.